Hi everyone, I'm Payal and I'm currently pursuing my master's from Indian Institute of Science, Bengaluru. In this video, I will be discussing about how you can crack TIFR in just 90 days because the cutoffs for the last few years have been ranging between 44 to 55. So scoring 60 plus like aiming to score 60 plus marks in the exam is going to be a safer score strategy. So without further ado, let's get started. So let's briefly discuss about the exam pattern and the cutoffs. So as you already know that in the TIFR that is JG Biz GS exam, there are total four sections for biology people that is GS people. There are total four sections uh, and the subjects for the section A are general aptitude. For the section B, physics, C, chemistry and D, biology. And from each of the section, each of the topic subject, there will be 15 questions. And per section, there will be different weightage for the questions. 10 questions will be of one mark and five questions will be of two marks. So, uh, so you just have to plan it accordingly. And uh, as I already mentioned that cutoffs in the past few years have been ranging between 45 to 55. Uh, that is enough uh, for you to uh, get shortlisted for the SOP writing and the interview part. So therefore, uh, you should focus on at least three subjects if you really want to score well and aim for like at least 50 plus marks if you want to uh, get shortlisted for the interview. And uh, there uh, last year, there were some subjective questions also uh, like uh, why do you want to pursue a PhD? There were some uh, problems. There were some problem anal uh, solving analytical type of questions. So uh, that I may be providing in the book tests also. So uh, you really need not to worry much about those. Uh, last year there were no SOP also. No, no, there was SOP indeed. Uh, but there were a sub there were subjective questions also in the exam, but they were non-weighing. Uh, but maybe they have considered it for the further shortlisting procedure. So uh, you have to make yourself uh, like uh, you have to make yourself prepared enough to score like well about 60 uh, marks in the exam written exam maybe uh, you should aim for 50 55 you should aim for 60 so you will uh, get about 40 50 marks depending upon the questions your uh, day and uh, what what are your thought process on the particular day how much practice you have done all those things so yeah and after that also be a little prepare about the subjective questions what they could ask why do you want to do a phd there will be some other questions that i may provide in the mock test okay so i have shortlisted few important topics that you must do if you really want to score best in gs exam so from the section for the section a that is general aptitude important topics uh there were there are, i have seen a lot of graphs a, gra uh, a lot of analytical type of questions figure based questions like you there there will be a figure you have to interpret some value from it or maybe uh, you have to uh, give the interpretations there are options you have to select one so based on that and you need to work on your logical thinking and you can see these uh, probability statistics so these are the uh, important topics that you can't really afford to miss so just take a screenshot pause the video take a screenshot and make sure you prepare all of these topics well for the physics and chemistry thermodynamics is must ph buffer questions are must and apart from that you should have a clearer understanding of spectroscopy and yeah that's all about it and also i have seen a lot of questions from newtonian mechanics and stuff so please be well prepared with those also and for biology uh obviously for gs people biology is the most uh like favorite uh, section to be attempted 
so uh, you should not focus uh, you should not uh, focus on all the syllabus but some important topics also try to solve the previous year questions also i will come to the strategy uh, in a minute just uh, take a screenshot of these topics hard to remember questions i have seen a lot genetics questions lack of your questions there are a uh, like a clearer pattern of the questions to be asked uh, but remember there will be very less memory based questions but most of the questions will be analytical type and how you are actually going to approach a problem in the lab setting so yeah uh, solving previous year questions and the similar practice questions will give you a better edge how well you will be able to score in the exam so yeah So just take a just pause the video and take a screenshot of these biology important topics and coming to the most weighted part of this video that is how you can utilize your next 3 months that is the 90 days for preparing well for the exam right so phase 1 let's say this month september uh, you should utilize your month uh, revising the concepts uh important topics solving previous year questions making flash cards so that it will help you in the uh, later phases of your preparation so that you can revise in shorter time phase 2 will be uh practice application based things so you practice previous year questions more as well as the practice questions so uh, you can follow cybits tafr practice course 2026 where a lot of tfr pattern related practice questions will be provided and for the phase 3 that is november solve as many practice questions as you can as well as revise from the flash cards you have prepared and also give mock test at least you should give three mock tests so that you get familiar with the exam pattern as well as you strategize your mind and channelize your energy to practice and choose questions smartly so that you can score very well uh, make sure you don't get into the negative marking trap more and of uh, and uh, cybits will launch mock test tfr uh, you can follow cybits tfr mock test 26 for uh, the mock test practice and the final tips revise formulas daily like you should make a flash card and from the flashcards you revise daily daily and daily because you tend to forget the formulas pathways and stuff and make sure you solve all the previous year questions even if you are solving like uh, maybe the last 10 year paper that is also relevant because in tifr there may be the concepts that will be repeating to solve the questions but every time you will encounter a problem in a different phase so that will solving previous year questions and the similar practice question will help you to develop the strategy to solve the questions yeah and more you watch somebody solving the questions uh, it, it will be more boon so yeah attempt easy question first in the exam because it will give you the confidence that yes you have done something and you will be able to score well and skip questions you are not sure about in the final exam because negative marking will make your score even worse and balance accuracy with speed you have to solve questions like more early but also with accuracy like you need not to mark all questions wrong but very fast no you you have to maintain a balance between the speed and your accuracy so with this i would like to end this video in case you have any doubts you can drop in the comments uh, i will be happy to answer your doubts so uh, you can also join our telegram channel uh, for them further updates so wishing you the luck for your exam thank you